How to get the explosives into Sochi. Now they're talking about uh, tubes of toothpaste that they're concerned about on uh, flights going into the area. Martin Reardon was chief of the FBI Terror Screening Operations Center, now vice president of the consulting firm Sufan Group, and joining us now live. Uh, Martin, good morning to you. When people start, uh, start talking about tubes of toothpaste, uh, it seems very clear they're looking at anything right now. Well, they are. You know, it, you know, people are making comparisons with this with the uh, uh, underwear bomber from 2009. It's, it's more similar to the uh, 2006 transatlantic flight, uh, which resulted in the current requirement that liquids brought on board the aircraft uh, don't exceed a certain number of ounces, uh, where you can put uh, chemicals that by themselves are not dangerous into these tubes, uh, but when you combine multiple tubes together, you have a, a very volatile explosive. That's, all right, so, that's the concern here. All right, so they're going to look at you as you go through security. What about tubes of toothpaste inside your luggage that's uh, going into the hold? I would say if uh, you know this threat was made to the uh, U.S. and foreign carriers that are actually going to Russia, but it would be a safe bet that you can expect uh, if you're carrying small tubes of toothpaste just flying in the United States, there might be some scrutiny there. So something to consider if you're packing that in your carry-on. All right. Anything that is a former terrorist screening guy that particularly concerns you right now that we're not talking about? Well, you know, I think one thing that was lost in all of this is, is this threat with the uh, militant groups out of the Caucasus. Uh, this is nothing new. This is in the last 12 to 15 years. There have been uh, over a thousand people uh, injured or killed in, in, in similar attacks there in Russia. So this is nothing new. The Russians knew it before. Uh, Western Intelligence uh, Service has been very aware of this. Uh, it's, it's coming to light now, I think, mostly because of Oligrod in uh, the end of December. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of people all around that area there uh, where these games are being held that just don't like the Russian government at all. Uh, so I guess that's uh, part of what we'll have to watch over the next several days. Martin, appreciate your time. Martin Ritter in there, uh, now at the Sufan Group.